There is another uh, topic that you cover in Surviving Death, which is apparitions, which happen a lot at end of life experiences for people. And I have to say uh, this, when I watched the movie Surviving Death, this was, this was the episode that actually freaked me out a bit. And I don't know why, and I'm just being honest, but I yep. felt a bit unnerved after this episode and, um, and I couldn't put my finger on why. And um, there was, I have to talk about this one scene that really affected me. It was a, it was a story of a mother who had a, her daughter was dying, who was, I mean, the age was 10 or 12 or something like that, who was dying of brain cancer. And it just stuck out to me more than anything. And she was obviously very normal and then got diagnosed and was, was really unwell. And she was on a very, um, she was obviously going to die. That was, that was a very known thing. And one day she is in her room and her mum just overhears her talking and she's by herself in her room. And this was very much close to the end of her time. And And afterwards, she said to her daughter, who were you talking to? And her daughter says, oh, just God. We were just, we were just having a conversation. And I think I was, I just was sitting in my chair, firstly about to, uh, about to weep, but also I just felt really moved by that story. And then, and then you go back to the mum and obviously the girl died, I think two days later. And the mum said, you know, I knew then that it was her final days when she said that to me, but it also was so unbelievably comf- comforting to know that she was going to be in a better place and in a, a and that and that she was not scared to die. So, I mean, what was your take on that and yeah. and that whole episode? I agree with you. It was really moving, and I mean, I didn't. I just found it to be very moving because that was about a, a doctor a hospice doctor yeah and you know a hospice do you have hospice in australia yes, i don't know yes. but yeah and so he he was documenting these people who have these visions and experiences like you were describing at the end of life they're all people who are consciously dying so they're not heavily medicated or anything yeah it's extremely moving um uh, you know they'll sometimes they'll see their loved ones come into the room and talk to them. You remember the old man who was talking yes. about his wife would come and it is absolutely real for these people, you know, as far as they're concerned. And I've talked to hospice nurses who can, they can determine where the person is at along their path towards death by looking at what is happening to them at this level. Like you were saying, the mom knew she was almost going to die. There are people that can know that very, very well who have been with a lot of dying people. There's a whole series of things that happen at the end of life. And it's almost like they have one foot in that world and one foot in our world. And they will have connection to the other side before they pass over in various ways. And it's, yeah, it's really moving. It's really sad to see these people dying. But as you say, um, it it allows them to, to feel comforted and not feel frightened and I think it's helpful for the families too so yeah I found that episode to be really moving um and you know these are so common people don't talk about it that much you know I mean my mother who died when she was 92 or 3 she had a vision the night before she died of her brother who had died before her being in the room and it was so vivid that she was like she was like exclaiming like with recognition that he was there just saying his name like hi you know like it wasn't like he was in that room and she was reacting to him as if he was standing right there wow it was and she had been just sort of out of it on you know medication for four or five days and she suddenly woke up like as if he had woken her up oh my god you know she said his name oh it's you you know and then she went to sleep and died the next day And there are so many experiences that people have like that. And it's just hard to write them off as some kind of hallucination or something, especially if the person isn't on any drugs that would cause hallucinations like that. And I do feel like you said it is such a, I think it is a comforting thing. I mean, for someone that is about to move to the next life or the continuation of this life, however you like to put it, 
to know that the person that they probably miss the most is going to be there for them when they do depart. Can you imagine how much difference that would make? I mean, they yeah. say the people who study this or the people who have lost loved ones and witnessed it, it it's, it's as if they're being helped. The, the, your loved ones will come over to help you cross over. I mean, that's what the mediums say too. Yeah. Your loved ones are going to be there to help you make that transition. And it's almost like they're letting you know that before that moment comes. Yes, it's, you know? it's and, beautiful. Um, and even the people who don't, uh, you know, if you're with somebody who's dying and they don't verbalize it, that doesn't mean it's not happening for them. Yes, yes. So, you know, you true. mustn't think, well, my, my mom didn't have that experience. You don't know that. You don't know what she might have had and didn't express or wasn't able to express for whatever reason. So uh, I think it's more common than we think. 